Welcome back to the channel. We're doing something today we haven't done for a long time. Midweek crit racing. The crit season is back. Today's race is a one hour handicap race, which means it includes almost all the categories. Everyone races together, but we set off in different increments. So the lowest category set off first is a bit of a gap, so on and so forth. I am still somehow a first cat, so I am in the back group, which means before we can even race for the win, we have to catch the groups in front. Got my number pinned on. I am number 51. Let's go racing. It's been a while since I've sat down and talked through an onboard video. You know, the last time that I was filming these videos, like a couple of years ago, you weren't even allowed to use cameras in racing. Uh, and I used to just take like a 50 pound hit fine uh, each time I uploaded a video from British Cycling. I think I probably single-handedly paid for their Christmas dinner a couple of years in a row. But fast forward to 2024 and you are now allowed to use onboard cameras in bike races. So welcome to the 21st century British Cycling and thank you. So all the other groups are set off now. Uh, as I mentioned at the start, I'm in the back group. Now there's only three of us. There's only three third cats in the race. Uh, so as you can see, a group of, of about 20 uh, second cat riders were in front. They set off, the, the, the commissaire there gave us 30 seconds and then we set off two. You just saw on the left hand side, that is the front group going round. Or oh, sorry, the second group going round. So the first group that set off had nearly a lap on us. Uh, now this circuit is about a kilometre in length, I think. A little bit longer. I think it's like 1.5k, 1.6k per lap. So yeah, essentially we had to make up, three of us had to make up a, a 20 second gap to the group in front of us. And then, yeah, we still had multiple people to catch. Long story short, there was about 30, maybe even 40 riders ahead of us at this stage that we had to catch before we could even consider or think about winning the race. So as you can see here, it's just kind of a, a team time trial effort. Uh, I was in second wheel to set off. I'm just taking my turn here. Taking us into the head, the, the back straight there. I swing off to the left and I think a rider's about to come through. There we go, there we go. So here, uh, yeah, the spirit, the spirit rider comes through. I slot back in here in third wheel and it's just kind of a, a case of, yeah, take your turn, 30 or 40 seconds on the front, pushing on, keeping the pace nice and high. So the race in total is 25 laps. Now that's slightly less than an hour because like I said, it's at 1.5, 1.6 kilometers per lap. So I think in the end we had about 50 minutes of racing, which actually the fact that it was shorter made it even harder to, to catch the front group because yeah, the less time you're out there, the less time you've got to catch the, the riders, the harder it becomes. Now, thankfully, the, the good thing about oh, the, the group in front of us setting off only 20 seconds ahead, yes, there were some strong riders in there, but we could see them pretty much the whole way from the start. We could see them in the front. So it was almost like having a little carrot in front of us and we could quite easily and visually see lap, lap, lap on lap that we were closing on the, the the group in front of us so you know we weren't kind of we weren't really needing time checks because like i said we could see them visually getting closer and closer every lap now frustratingly i forgot to put the timer on the the, the telemetry overlay uh, and it took forever to render this video i'll be honest so i'm not gonna go back in and do it but from memory it took about 10 minutes as you can see from the distance on the left hand side we're at seven kilometers so i think it was maybe 11 minutes to, to catch this group and i remember looking at my um the rider in front there just realizing we've caught them i remember looking at my power my average power for the first 10 minutes was over 400 watts so you know it was an honest effort to get across but we got across in, in decent time like i said 10 or 11 minutes which allowed us to yeah, take a little breather now on the back there and then I just start rolling through because you know, we still got, I mean, there's probably what, 15 guys in this group. However, the group in front was even bigger. So there was, tw I think 20 riders still ahead of us at this stage um, with it, you know, that, that being third cats and fourth cat riders. So, you know, and the thing is like, 
even though these riders are third cap, you know, there's some strong riders. There'll be guys which race abroad and they don't get BC points, or there'll be guys that just kind of focus on time trials um, that, that don't get points and therefore they're third cats. But actually, they're really strong riders and they do a lot of training. So, you know, there's some strong guys in, in, in the group in front of us that, that we still had to catch in order to, in order to win this race. So, yeah, we're just kind of uh, getting organized now, riding through, riding through and off, taking our turn. Um, however, it's, you can kind of see here, I don't want to start calling on, calling up, calling out riders, but, you know, when, when, when someone rides through that hard, it's kind of a little bit pointless in a, in a handicap race because, you know, it's almost like, it's almost like they're doing an attack so then you get people just sort of chasing the wheel to hang on, like I'm doing right now. As you see, I'm up at like 800 watts right there. Um, and then all it does is, is disincentivizes everyone else to work because they're like, all right, this guy's strong. He's just going to ride hard. I'm going to sit in his wheel and he's going to take me across. When in reality, that's not going to happen. You know, one guy, all right, unless you're, unless you're mega strong, unless you're Wout Van Aert or Matthew Van Der Poel or yeah, some absolute, um, some absolute hitter. You're not really gonna, you're not gonna be able to close. I think the gap was probably around one minute here, one minute thirty, to the front group on your own. So you know, you might as well just get inside, get in this chain gang like formation, roll through, take your turn, swing off, let the next guy come through, um, and so on and so forth. And as you can see, people are already sort of starting to miss turns. And I'm not riding hard. I rolled through there at 300 watts. So what I decided to do is ride in the front for a few seconds, then swing off to the other side and try and get that, try and get that uh, chain gun going again. But as you can see here, it's already going to going to pop. We've got riders attacking us up the outside there, you know. And it, it, this this just makes it real hard for us to catch the group in front, you know, when there's not really an organised chase then it's, it makes it hard because I could see, you know, we could see at this point now coming around the right hand corner, you can see the group on the left hand side at some point, um, you know, you can see it's quite an open circuit. So I can see the other group, I can see the, the, the leaders and I can see that they are riding, you know, nice and organized, that they're rolling through, they're keeping it steady and they're not, they're not riding super hard, but they're just riding it smooth. And when you ride it smooth, you go faster. It's as simple as that because everyone's taking the turn you know, 20 guys rolling through at 60% is, is much faster than one guy on the front at 100%, you know? In in most cases, and in this case, that was certainly true. So resume here at 12 kilometers. Uh, now, what you can see, we still haven't caught the group in front of us. We still haven't caught them, let, just, just let that be known. Uh, and we are riding through and off. Now, as you can see, there is one, two, three, four, five. There's like five of us rolling through. So there's, there's a lot of guys sat on right now. Um, the rider there just does a little bit of an attack. I mean, it was kind of, heart, of a half-hearted half attack. Maybe it wasn't an attack, maybe it was just riding hard. So we just, yeah, there's five of us now rolling through. Chris here on the front taking a, taking a big turn, swings off, flicks me through, I roll through. But yeah, bear in mind there must be 20, 20 or so people, guys in this group. And if there's five of us working, there's a lot of people sat on. It's, it's a tricky one, you know, you're trying, to, you're trying to motivate people to come through, to do a turn, to, to close this gap. But they, you know, they, don't, they don't want to, they don't want to. But unfortunately, you know, you'll have, a ga you'll have the 10 guys like this come through once or twice and then they'll jump back on and sit, sit, on, sit on the back for another, for another few laps. And it, it just makes it, yeah, it's... Um, in a race like this, you, you, everyone needs to be working, man. Everyone needs to be working. It's as simple as that. And they're strong enough to be here because, you know, it's a handicap race, and they are they are based they are put into um, the the category that they that they belong in, that they, you know, their license says that they are. So they are strong enough to be in this group, and therefore they are strong enough to ride and roll through. So, yeah, it's um, sometimes it can be quite easy to get frustrated that, that riders not not riding, but. A, it's pointless. And at the end of the day, it's only a midweek grip. It's just a training race, a bit of fun. We've got a nice little group here rolling through. Um, yeah, 
the, the group, we're, we're, we're slowly bringing that group in front in at this point. And just as we were making nice progress, um, people started to miss the wheels again. And as you can see here, I swung off and there, there's gaps opening. Um, and I, I have to jump, I have to jump there to, to, to try and close this gap again. And it's just like, it's, it's just pointless gaps opening, you know, there's not really any excuse for it. Um, these riders are strong enough. I don't know. I don't know what I, I think it's just kind of a maybe a bit of a lack of organization from the group as a whole so as you can see here on the left hand side we're 16.7k and you can just see the front group there there's mu there must be 15 guys left in that front group and that and we have now have that visual representation of where they are so every lap you know that's the marker we can see if we're catching them or if they're if they're pulling away so we know where they are in this lap and we can take that into the next lap and the next lap and the next lap and it will get yeah, it, it, it helps us to understand if we're closing the gap if the gap's growing you know or what, what the case may be um but yeah they, they are probably half a lap ahead of us there so there's still there's still the best part of a minute you know and we've got we've only got we've only got 13k left of the race so you know we're having to we're having to get our skates on a little bit here and uh, yeah the spirit rider starts to, to ride to ride hard i take a big turn you know the speed's up there we're at 49 50k an hour you saw the group there again on the left hand side so you know we're pushing hard but um the the, the group's starting to fragment <coughs> a little bit it's, it almost felt like our group was racing each other for the win without really we're, we're, perhaps forgetting that there were still 15 riders up the road. We're 24.1 kilometers into the race now. Uh, we've got a few guys coming through, but as you're about to see, we can see the group on the left-hand side of the circuit, the, the front group, and they are still half a lap ahead of us. You know, we're not really making any progress. We're making a little bit, then they take it back. They're just riding organized. They have the common interest of keeping my group away from them. And I, you know, fair play to them. They are riding sensibly, no one's attacking aimlessly they, they just they're riding with a common interest to keep us away so i'm starting to think now right how can we get away how can we close this gap people are you know no one there's a lot of guys sat on this group i think people just expect to get towed around uh, and, and sprint for the finish so i just take my opportunity i see t a couple of guys go up the road on the left hand side and i think right if we can get four or five of us away together you know, the, 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 essentially the strongest guys in that group and we can get away and we can start working and we can push on, you know, that's, a, that's a, at this point, it's it's almost desperation stations, you know, we're, we're it's all we can do, it's all we can do. So I, I, I take that opportunity, I get away in the gap, gap. as you can see behind me, there's, there's, you know, we've made a good, we've made good ground. Instantly, we get a big gap. We have like four, I think there's four of us here initially, five, one, two, yeah, one, two, three, five, five of us at this point. So I'm just taking my turn, riding as, you know, as hard as I can, essentially. We've only got five, seven, we've got seven kilometers left of the race. So that's like, what, six, five laps, I think it is, this time on the board. Uh, roll through, take my turn. And this, yeah, we're just kind of at, at max, max effort here. My heart rate on the right hand side doesn't seem to indicate that, but I don't think that is completely um, right. We've already dropped. Oh no, sorry, he's, he's still there. But we've got one rider just hanging on there. So a couple of others are trying to uh, trying to bridge across to to the gap. But all we can do now is is, is get our head down and push on. A lap or two ahead and as you can see there is any four of us there is one rider there at the back just just getting dropped off the back so yeah we're down to we're down to four of us still making good progress still riding hard when you look at the power we're, we're right up there now we're yeah and this is good you know we needed this early on in the race if we had this early on in the race with a group of 15 of us we'd have closed this gap you know Muchy, I'm, I'm not saying we'd have closed the gap because I don't want to take any risk. I, I don't want to disrespect respect the front group because there were some good riders. But as you can see, there's the group there. So we're, we're closing on them, four laps to go. But it's, I don't think there's enough time. I don't think there's enough time, I'll be honest with you. But yeah, we, we needed this group earlier on in the race and then we would have stood more of a chance of potentially catching the front group. You know, nothing's for certain, you don't know for definite. So we're coming around the top corner, you can see the rider on the back just sits up and he's freewheeling. He is cooked. 
and that is game over for um, for that rider there at the back. Now, if you remember from the start of the race, the scratch group, the three of us that started in, in, the, in the back group, that is actually, ironically, the, the group, the three of us that are now left in the race, the, the, the three of us here are the riders from the, the back group. So we've managed to break away from, from that bunch. And there's the group on the left-hand side. That's the front group. That's what we are essentially chasing. But yeah, we've got three laps to go when we go through, when we take the left-hand turn up here and go through the finish line. We have three laps to go. That's about five kilometers to close that gap of, I'm gonna guess around 50 seconds, still 40 seconds perhaps. It's a big, it's a big ask, especially for the three of us. But you know, we're, we're giving it our all and fair play to these two boys in this group uh, with, with me, you know, all three of us were committed. No one was, uh, no one was holding anything back. You know, this was the, this was the group now. We'd made, the, 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 the bunch we were with behind us is nowhere to be seen. They've, they've pretty much sat up. It's, it's day done for those guys. Um, yeah, three laps to go there, but we're, we're giving it our all. So I'm just gonna skip to the last lap. Yeah, long story short, we didn't catch, we, we, we've not caught the guys in front of us. We made we made nice little a nice little inroad, but they're, they're too they were it was too little too late. And full credit to the boys in front of us. They rode they rode super hard and they they rode well. They rode as a unit. They rode together, and it just goes to show, you know, on paper they should have, they shouldn't have been as strong as our groups. But in reality, tonight they were because they were riding they were riding hard and they were riding smooth and they were riding as they should in a handicap race. Um, but anyway, there's just three of us here. Now I'm, we come around this right hand turn and I'm trying to, we can see the group in front of us on the other side of the circuit. And I'm trying to count in my head whilst, uh, whilst being on the limit. I'm trying to count if, how many guys are in that front group because I'm thinking, right, if there's more than 10, there's no points for grabs. It's pointless to sprint. But I'm counting them now and I'm thinking, right, there's, there's only about eight of them there. So I'm thinking we're still going for a top 10, but what I didn't know is there's a, there was a couple more guys within this in these trees. So I think, I mean, I'll put it on the screen exactly how many, how, what position I came in, but I think there was um, about 15 ahead of us, but I, I counted eight at the start. So I'm thinking, right, I might as well sprint for a point here. There's three of us, let's have a bit of fun. We come around this bottom corner now. It's a tailwind uh, finish, so I can go a little bit earlier. And I'm leaving a gap just so I can jump, jump the gap. Now Chris has done some big turns, so I'm not really worried about him at this stage because I think he's, he's he's cooked. But this spirit rider takes the jump on me. He goes up the left hand side, and I just managed to squeeze up to the right. We've got a couple of guys uh, behind us that we've caught up. Uh, yeah, and in the end, it wasn't a bad sprint. I think we maxed out at like 1,450 watts, so I was uh, yeah, it was a decent sprint, up at like 60k an hour there for the for the for the finale. <clears throat> but yeah, like I said, I thought we were sprinting for, for a top 10. Turns out we weren't. But that's the race. Like I said, handicaps always make for some interest in racing. Had a lot of fun back racing the crits tonight. If you want to see more of these onboard videos, uh, breakdowns, whatever you want to call it, leave a like. And with that being said, I'll see you in a new video very, very soon.